Wear OS 6 is finally rolling out to the Pixel Watch 2 and 3. And yes, the old trick still works. Just go into settings, then system, then about, and start tapping that little watch icon. If the update is available for your region, that usually forces it to appear. The Pixel Watch 4 shipped with Wear OS 6 already on board, but this is the first time users of earlier models are seeing the new version. I'm based in the UK, and my Pixel Watch 2 updated without any issues. Here I'll show you quickly how to update. So if you click on settings, and then scroll down until you see the system option, tap on that, click on system updates, and then repeatedly tap on the little watch icon until uh, you get a message that there's an update that can be installed. So uh, the rollout seems to be widespread because there are reports coming from the US and Germany as well about the update. Now the version you're looking at for is 16.0.0. Uh, the download and install combined take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your connection. Just make sure your battery is above 50% and the watch is on the charger before you start. Some users have mentioned update, uh, the update drains battery, battery uh, fairly aggressively during the process. So that's something to keep in mind. That said, once the update is installed, battery life should actually improve. Google says you can expect around 10% better efficiency compared to Wear OS uh, 5 thanks to platform level tweaks. Uh, Pixel Watch 1 users are still waiting, but uh, Google has confirmed that uh, the update will arrive eventually. LTE models of the 2 and 3 seem to be covered already. Some people are even updating the watch right before trading it in, which is a nice parting gift if nothing else. So what's new once uh, installed? Well, Wear OS 6 brings in Google's Material 3 expressive design. It makes the UI feel more cohesive with better use of circular screen space, smoother animations and a cleaner visual language. Fonts, icons and interface components have all been tweaked. It feels more fluid and easier on the eyes. One of the more obvious visual changes is dynamic color theming. The interface now automatically picks up accent colors that match your watch, uh, your watch face, your chosen watch face, creating a more unified look without needing manual setup. Lists and scrollable areas feel more alive with subtle scaling effects as they move around the edges of the screen. Performance-wise, transitions and notifications, no, notifications are a bit snappier. The new three-slot tile layout also improves how widgets display, making key info like weather or calendar easier to uh, scan at a glance. There's also a redesigned edge-hugging button layout that's clearly been built with round displays in mind. Gemini AI, AI is also on the way. It'll eventually replace the old Google Assistant and bring uh, more natural voice interactions to your wrist. You'll be able to ask uh, about emails, uh, appointments, even, even restaurant info, all without needing to pull out your phone. Timing on this rollout may vary, but it's part of Google's broader push to unify AI across its platforms. Security also gets a boost. The new update adds support for passkeys, which means you can sign in directly from your watch without having to grab your phone. Media controls are better too, with more options for skipping, scrubbing, shuffling, and accessing playlists. Some users expected new watch faces with this update, and a few have shown up. The pride face seems to be available for some, and the updated watch face APK is present on devices. But others like the concentric design aren't working yet or just aren't visible. It's not clear if that's a stage rollout or if another update will be needed to unlock them uh, fully. All in all, this isn't a complete overhaul, but it's a solid update uh, that brings smoother interaction, more visual consistency, and better, all, uh, better overall performance. So if you're on Pixel Watch 2 or 3, it's worth grabbing as soon as you can. It'll make your watch feel new. Just tap that icon and get started.